So, Mohamed Salah is injured. I wanted to wait a few days after the match with Ghana to let the dust settle, see what the news would be, see how the scans would go through. And at this point, we know a very select bit of information. From that, we can extrapolate how long he'll be out. The FA has said which matches they expect him to miss for AFCON. So it's not even for the whole duration of AFCON, according to them. But at the end of the day, we don't know the true extent until he's back at Liverpool. We don't know if it's, you know, something that he's going to be playing up or playing down rather. But as always, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing, like the video if you end up enjoying, and comment down below your thoughts on this matter. Let's get into it immediately with this kind of situation with this translated tweet that has some information about the type of tear and injury it was. Uh, so in the 46th minute of the match against Ghana, Mohamed Salah was forced off due to injury, subbed off in the 46th minute due to a tear in the left posterior muscle. Duration of the absence for a first degree one is expected to be one to three weeks. For a second degree one is three to six weeks. So naturally that's a little scary, but as I said, there isn't necessarily any indication by the FA that it is going to be a second degree one, but they haven't specified whether it's a first or a second. The FA did make a statement, according to Fabrizio Romano, that effectively states that the injury of Mohamed Salah with a strain in the hamstring muscle will cause him to miss two matches in the African Cup of Nations against Cape Verde in the round of 16 in case of qualification. So, there's that. They expect him to be back not in the first round knockouts, but in the second round knockouts, possibly, should he stay fit. Um, then uh, there's an official statement from uh, the Egyptian FA on Liverpool's website as well. Nothing too crazy there. And nothing really to dive into besides the fact that according to them, this is an injury that will keep him out until the match against, you know, whoever they qualify against. If you look right now, uh, Egypt versus Cape Verde is set to take place this Monday. So with a couple of days rest, they're expecting he'll be gone to like after this week, I would imagine, um, this upcoming week. So maybe in a week or two, uh, like 10 days or so. Uh, I don't know. I feel like I can't help but think that they're trying to rush him back, which obviously would um, make sense for them to try to, you know, get their best squad out. But it is a little concerning. Um, Liverpool plays tomorrow against Bournemouth. I will be live for that, um, for the watch along. I'm not as concerned about Liverpool going forward without Salah in terms of, you know, with how... I've seen the players kind of play in his absence. But at the same time, I'd be lying to say if I'm not concerned about this injury. So I will make sure to keep people updated to the best of my ability, at least, with any news, information, updates on this matter, on Salah's, you know, return to Liverpool in terms of fitness post this injury and just his status at the club as a whole because obviously the big elf in the room is the fact that there's a good chance that Mohamed Salah could be playing his last year at Liverpool as we speak. Um, I hope to God it isn't, but always something that's in the back of your head there for that. But besides that, not much in the way of transfer news for Liverpool. Uh, Fabio Carvalho scored a goal in the winner uh, for Hall against Sunderland, I believe it was. So I mean, there's that, but besides that, no updates to the first team, really. No incoming rumors, no outgoing rumors. So as it stands, Liverpool, I mean, got to face Bournemouth tomorrow. Hopefully Salah comes back. Um, you know, no one would want to see him injured that long. No Liverpool fan, at least. And, and he's just a class player as it is. So regardless, you know, the Premier League will be worse off with him injured. But anyways, those are my thoughts on... Mohamed Salah's injury situation, he's obviously talked to Klopp. Klopp's basically said that they won't know the full extent of it until he comes to Liverpool and gets tested. And yeah, that's about it. Nothing more really to add in the way of Mohamed Salah's injury. No big 
updates one way or another, but he does look happy post injury. He's been walking around, so maybe not the biggest, you know, injury or whatever to his hammy, but hopefully he is recovering well. And yeah, so thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'm Sideline Sato. Peace.